Miracle Mirror. Brian has a Sensei's Divine Top and a Counterbalance on the battlefield. He's spinning a top in his upkeep. It appears on Josh's side. He's got a Foil Island, a Scalding Tarn, along with a Tundra. As game number two is underway, and you can see the clock. We've got about 15 minutes. Two counterbalances in play for Ravitz. So he has some of that of his own. Now, Ravitz will most likely never get to resolve a Sensei's Divining Top. It's unclear if those counterbalances are on the battlefield. I believe those are in his graveyard, actually. Oh, you're yeah. right. OK. That is yeah. much worse. Yes. Now, here's a meddling mage. Snapcaster mage is going to be revealed to counter that. Now Brian's going to spin his top. And this can just be so difficult, especially in the mirror match. There, you know, there aren't cross and grip style cards that can get around this. What he has to hope for is that Brian really bricks on on his lock at some point. Well, Brian is in pretty good shape right now. He's going to spin the top yet again after playing a second one. So now all one mana spells are basically taken care of here from Ravitz. So Ravitz is going to try to have to find a way out of this situation. It's a very frustrating deck to play against at times as miracles. Ron Duan will untap, he'll draw. And now here is a copy of Monastery Mentor. Yeah, so four mentors in the main deck for Rabbits. None of them for Brian, but Brian does have three of them in the sideboard of his own. Rabbits going to play a Force of Will, removing a blue card to get that off the battlefield. That'll be good enough to take care of the Mentor. A lot of players moving towards Monastery Mentor as a win condition in this deck. And Shrink the Angels is still a thing, that's for sure. But, you know, for Josh, he's actually got two Stoneforge Mystics and then a Batter Skull in his main deck this weekend. Yeah, Josh with no copies of Entreat in his list. Yeah. Uh, Brian's still on them. He has two in his main deck. Both players with two copies of Dig Through Time. So some new cards have made their way into Miracles. Yeah, and Dig Through Time seems, has been an excellent inclusion in the deck. Well, here's a Mentor for Rabbits. Yeah, and we'll see whether or not Brian actually has kept a three in his top three. Or does, does Josh have life? Does he get to keep a mentor, at least temporarily. Looks like it's going to get to resolve. Yeah, this is interesting. Mentor is a really good card to slide underneath a counterbalance lock because it is three mana, and typically these Miracles decks have less three mana spells than two and one mana spells. And then, after sideboard, it is very likely that Miracles does just sideboard out Source of Plowshares-esque effects. However, Brian has come <laughs> prepared, which is very smart. Swords will take care of Monastery Mentor, and now here's Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Josh does not want to play anymore. So, Brian Rondo is going to win this match here over Josh Ravitz. Two games to zero. The Miracle's Mirror goes to BBD. Time not playing a factor in things. And now BBD moves on to 3-0. Yeah.